morning, everyone, and welcome to our Bible sharing this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and protect you always. The reading today is from John, chapter 3 and it starts with probably one of the most famous Bible quotes of our times. John 3.16 For God so loves the world that He has sent us His only Son, so that those who believe in Him might not perish but might have eternal saw and probably you see that quote in many places sometimes when we drive along the highway we saw the billboard with this quote on it John 3 16 sometimes we're watching TV major league baseball and we saw people raise up the signs John 3.16 Some of the NFL players put John 3.16 on their, on their face. And some people even tattoo, tattoo this word on their, on their skin, on their hands, on their arms. And we wonder, is, uh, is it uh, just for fun? No, I don't think so. I believe all these people have a very deep conviction of the love of God in their lives. They understand and they appreciate the power of the love of God that working in their lives. Because, think about that, if God did not even spare His only Son and send us the most precious gift of His life, His only Son, then nothing else God cannot do for the one God loves for us. And that brings us also to Romans chapter 8, 31 to 39. God's love for us in Christ Jesus. And in this passage, St. Paul shared with us. Can anything separate us from the love of God? Will hardship or distress or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword can separate us from the love of God. And he exclaimed the confirmation. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither dead nor life, nor angel, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Beautiful passage, beautiful exclamation beautiful proclamation of the love of God. You know, it is so true. Jesus said in John 15, 13, There is no greater love than the one who lays down his life for his friend. And God proves that love to us by sending his only son, Jesus Christ, to die Resurrected to be resurrected and conquer death for all of us. The most beautiful thing is God sends 
his son to us but god grant us the freedom to accept him or not to receive him or not god give us the most precious gift but god grant us the choice to open that gift or not god propose to us like a young wonderful handsome man proposed to a lady but god let us to accept that proposal or reject it what will be what will be our our answer to his proposal i hope your answer will be yes lord yes yes lord nothing else to lose on our part but we have the whole eternity to gain for that proposal just imagine uh, this scenario a young lady wishing to be married and suddenly there appear a most handsome strong wealthy man came out of nowhere and proposed to her and she say no i am fine you go out get out of my life what will uh, what will the young man lose the scenario is a sick and, and nearly on the brink of death cancerous patient in agony already and there appear the best doctor who has the best skill with the best medicine come and offer to will you let me uh, do the surgery for you to save you and that pa- patient say no i don't want to get out of my life what will that doctor what would that doctor lose he lost nothing but the patient lost the chance to be saved to be rescued to be healthier again in john uh, 1:12 we read but to all who did receive him to those who believe in his name he gave the right to become children of god yes i hope i hope that all of us will say yes to god because it it it, it has so much stake here it's a matter of life and death and it's a matter of eternal salvation or eternal misery if you never open up to god in your life i hope today you will say to god just say it out loud when you are alone it's okay to say to god god i want to know more about you i want to discover you in my life please reveal yourself to me I want to be your children. I want to be your disciple. And I accept you as my savior, as my Lord in my life. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. May the Lord bless you. And may you have a wonderful day. Thank you.